Hey, what about James Hurd? That's on air at the moment. We'll Put win. his hand up to coach the Bomb Braves. Yeah. Were you as shocked as much? Um, well, it's a courageous thing to do, isn't it? It's an unbelievable thing to do. And only someone who thinks they can deliver upon that, that appointment, if that were to be the case, would do such a thing. Mm. So I love it. I, I'm, I'm a James Hurd fan. I have seen him under the bright lights coaching you know, in-game with the role at Fox. I think he had a lot of um, great relationships and was building uh, great relationships with players. Okay, I, I don't don't hammer me for what went wrong at the end. We, we all know that. I think he was let down by a few people. You can argue whether he should or shouldn't have known certain things. The football clubs now are very different places to what they were when James was coaching. So those sort of things wouldn't slip through any cracks anymore. Um, not that that's a real discussion for for, for now for James, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know where I sit with it. I, I yeah. could see him coaching Essendon. Could you see him coaching Essendon? I just wonder about the the baggage that he would bring with him. Does Essendon just need to cut the cord and move on from that? Do they go back? Do they run the risk of just all the history and all the baggage coming with James again? But then again. James has been to the bottom of the barrel. So yes. for all his life experiences, what could that do for him and his man management and his uh, his ability to harness a group and connect with people? Surround yourself, perhaps, if this is the issue. I don't have no idea if it is, but if it is, surround yourself with sharp tactical minds. Put a great team around it, whatever. I, I, I argue that that's an issue. Yeah, well, I don't know if yeah. it is. But I, that's, I that's, that's one narrative, issue. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's been out for seven years. Yeah. It, it's c correct. But he hasn't, he hasn't not been a... Um, just because you haven't moved magnets, I don't think you lose your intel for the game. The game's changed structurally, fractionally. If if that were a shortcoming, how long would that take to gather? About, what, four weeks? Yeah. I mean, seriously. If you think this guy's going to be a success... Well, that comes clear in the process to, to secure a coach. You're obviously... I mean, in the two hours or whatever he had with the subcommittee yesterday, these are all things that are obviously yeah. going to be fleshed out. Well, he, they should be. He, he can build relationships like no other. Mm. Imagine, imagine having James Hurd as your coach. I personally would think, well, he'd be able to not necessarily teach me the intricacies of how to play, but different things. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing it? Challenge in a different way because he's a bit of a lateral thinker. I've seen some of his stuff. I think he's a real chance. I know that others are just saying, no, you can't do it. Mm. I think he's a live chance. I find the subcommittees curious. There's a whole other conversation for another time, but for a club you know, that's just had a change at the very top as well with David Barham to come in to then delegate and give another set of people the responsibility to pick a coach, I find curious. And yeah. I know Josh Marnie's chairing it and Dorothy Hisgrove, a director's there, but they're the only two club representatives on that subcommittee. I mean, Robert Walls is in there, uh, Jordan Lewis is in there, Simone McInnes, the netball coach is in there. It's it's funny that they their most important appointment they put in the hands of others. I find that quite interesting. But uh, anyway, especially with someone like James Hurd, who comes yeah. with all that Essendon history as well. We'll wait and see how that uh, pans out, of course, in the coming weeks.